Hey, it's Jeff here. Welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews, where today I'm doing the Harpoon 192. It's a double red ale from Vermont and Massachusetts, and it's 6.6% ABV. But before I get into the review, I want to stand out here in the rain a little bit, because here in New Hampshire, we've been suffering a drought for months. I mean, most of the wells are down a foot or more. A lot of people are really drying up, and we're getting a bit of the uh, Hurricane Matthew in this area, the rain from that anyway. So this rain is really welcome to my area. So I'm going to go inside now and do that beer review. Back inside with this Harpoon 192. This is a limited batch and it was brewed exclusively to help raise funds for the Pan Mass Challenge, uh, which is a group of bikers who ride their bikes to raise money for cancer research. So every one dollar of this uh, sale of this bottle goes to cancer research. So I'm going to get right into it and check it right out. There's the old H for Harpoon, of course. So, I'm gonna check this one right out. All right, I have not seen this one in New Hampshire. I picked it up in Massachusetts, so uh, I don't know if it's going to be in New Hampshire. It's been out a few months, but uh, Harpoon is unusual in New Hampshire. You know, sometimes we get a lot of their beers, and sometimes these special limited editions don't come here uh, because they are based, of course, in Massachusetts and Vermont. So here's the pour into this uh, Killian mug. As I mentioned at the outset, this is a double American uh, red ale. So put it into a, a dimpled mug with George Killian's name on it. So let's check out the aromas. Well, first of all, take a look at the color of it. Not quite as red as I expected it to be. Uh, it looks more orange, a medium light amber color, lighter to medium amber. Not a lot of red tones in this one at all. So more of an orange and uh, amber color with a modest uh, off color, off white head. Aroma. Hmm. Well, I'm getting all those kind of uh, malt characters you might expect from a red. Uh, reds have a unique sort of character. Uh, it's like a roasted, toasted character, but there's also a, a slight fruitiness that goes on in this. So it's a, I'd say it would fall in the tropical range to some extent. But the malts are really forward on this, and it's got a low hop profile, although it is 60 IBUs, International Bittering Units, so 60. That's somewhat bitter. Let's check out the taste. Now I'm picking up more of the bitterness there. Oh boy, really, really malty. Malt forward more than anything else, I would say. Um, I'm not getting, a, I am getting a bitter character at the end, but I'm not really getting a really sort of full fruity bite at the end. Um, let's see, this might be a few months old. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Enjoy by 10, 15, 16. Well, I'm recording this on 10 9 16, so not quite, <laughs> not quite expired yet, but give it a week. <laughs> mm. Anyway, as I said, it's got a really nice malty character. I'd say I'm picking up malts more than anything else, and that may be the fact that it's near its expiration date. So it may have had a bit of a hop character earlier uh, when this came out, I think in June. So the hops have probably faded some. I mean, there's still a kind of a tobacco type, uh, charcoal type finish to it. Uh, a slight fruity character. I think it would have been more fruity maybe a few months ago. Mm. But the malts are pleasant enough. They're sweet. Uh, the body is smooth. I'd put it in the medium to full range. Uh, yeah, I'd call it a full body for sure. It's got a lot of depth to it. Mm. Mm. So, um, definitely an interesting beer. I'm glad I'm able to help a cause by buying a beer. I love it when these uh, breweries, particularly uh, the craft breweries, when they give some of their proceeds to an important cause, in this case, cancer research. So and I usually walk in the uh, uh, Making Strides walk for the American Cancer Society. So I usually walk in that. And so I'm a big supporter of the, of the Cancer Society and of cancer research. So. That will do it for now. This is the Harpoon 192. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you again next time.